You know, throughout my life, I've lost family members, I've lost friends, but I think the toughest loss of them all has been Survival the SpongeBob the Killer, my hit Roblox game that was taken away from you, stripped from me by the evil devils behind SpongeBob at Viacom CBS, who uh, did a copyright takedown of my game. They forced Roblox to get rid of my game. I've made uh, a lot of complaints about this over the years, so my usual viewers will probably know the whole lore, but I'll, I'll explain a little bit of it anyways. So I got about 26 million visits on this game. It was just, uh, it was just a nothing game. I even changed the game to be not copyright infringing with SpongeBob. I changed it to Sonic, and they still took it down. And then I tried to change it to Viacom, the evil devils that stole everything from me you know it's still under review it's been under review for like two years three years now it's been under review roblox is still working on their review of my game take your time don't worry all i have is time i'm sure the fan base that was there uh will return after three years are you gonna be all alone on valentine's day well i have the news for you my new merch comes out on Valentine's Day. Now you can be lonely and poor. Oh my god, they're forming a heart. Oh my god. Duh. We got two designs, a bunch of uh, colors and stuff like that. The usual, the... The... This was pretty much my game, except it had SpongeBob chasing you around. Anyways, the reason why I bring this up is because, uh, a official Roblox Spongebob game has been made. It is in association with GameFam, who have had many controversies, such as their, uh, like, employees unionizing against them, bad work conditions, a lot of haters trying to bring down this hardworking company. Do you think Spongebob would ever do something evil? And what this game symbolizes to me is, uh, this is the person who killed all my hopes and dreams as a game developer. I, I mean, why else would they take my game down? You know, they're making their own Spongebob game, and here it is. So this is, whatever this is, whatever lies behind this green play button, is the reason why everything was taken from me. You know, and I will say, uh, despite my game being horrible, this YouTube video says more Roblox YouTubers with successful games. And there's a picture of me in there, and the thumbnail says revolutionary. So, uh, let's see what the people have to say about my game. Flamingo, survival the SpongeBob the Killer. Hey, Albert, it's one of the biggest Roblox YouTubers boasting over 12 million subscribers. He's so big that his viral game became popular by accident. No. Not accident. Here, talk about my game now. It's the game had 300 players, which left Albert dissatisfied as he expected yep. thousands to be playing. I expected zillions! Three days later, he would return to the game only to find that thousands of people were playing. Okay, well, I'll, I think a lot of these were bots, but we did get like a good player base. I did create like a little hell for uh, to trap children in. So maybe that's why SpongeBob took action on me. They didn't want their little child fans to be sent to hell. I don't know why they would then go with GameFam, who uh, allegedly puts people in a literal real life hell. We're gonna investigate this game. Is this worth uh, my whole life being ruined? They took my my career away. I will say, Survival the SpongeBob the Killer at this moment has 26 million visits, and this has 11 million. I have the superior and more successful SpongeBob game as of right now. That will probably change, but a little interesting factoid. All right, SpongeBob SquarePants, and of course, a simulator. Because, um, you know, why would you make a real game where you could just make a money pumping simulator? All right, so you hit the rock and you get coins. And then you, what you do with your money is you, <laughs> you gamble with it. What else would you do in a SpongeBob world, huh? So I guess this is just pet simulator, but uh, probably worse. You know, I do feel like there's a million things you could do with the SpongeBob IP, but, um, they just made this. You can make crab- Hey, I got an idea! Krusty Krab make a burger! Burger simulator! Where you make a burger! And you can still put gambling in it! You can put gambling in any of these games, but you could cook on a Krusty Krab game. Save SpongeBob. Help! 
Jellyfishing got a little complicated. Can you help me out of this jam? Okay. Early unlock SpongeBob. 500 Robux? Come on. All right, SpongeBob says, go hit the casino. You burned it. So is SpongeBob gonna ask me to drink next? I think GameFam's uh, ultimate objective as a company is to take your favorite characters and just make the worst possible game involving them and just waste all the opportunity of a, a good Roblox game using one of your favorite characters growing up. You want my help? Where were you when your leader, Viacom, took my game down? You can rot in hell for all I care, SpongeBob. I wanted to be a game developer like all the other YouTubers like Dennis, and he took that away from me. Look, they have drunk driving in SpongeBob. This is awesome, actually. I take back everything I said. This game's been out maybe uh, a week, and they already have... They're already partnered with the Super Bowl. This is probably a multi-million dollar partnership. Super Bowl has arrived in Bikini Bottom. Collect 58 items around the tailgate. Jesus, man. You know, the difference between this game and Pet Simulator is I feel like Preston from Pet Simulator, he studies how casinos work and has actually made a very addictive game where this game just kind of feels like a lot of work. We're in Pet Simulator, I get, I get sucked into it, and it's like uh, a lot more evil in that sense. But at least it's fun. Deluxe OP clamp, come on. You don't gotta do every simulator tactic. You come, you're, I feel like you're tainting the SpongeBob name. What are the odds of this? 0.05% at 350 Robux a pop? Come on, it's SpongeBob. Don't take advantage of SpongeBob fans. I gotta turn the music off. I, I'm not sure if the music is copyrighted. We'll test this out. If this video gets taken down, it's because of their stupid SpongeBob music's copyrighted. I'll do something horrible to myself. If this video gets age-restricted or copyrighted, which I think just saying that will get the video age-restricted, but the blood will be on your hands, SpongeBob and Viacom. They have a leaderboard for how much gambling you do. Clams open seven million. Dude, how much of your money have you spent on SpongeBob Simulator? I feel like this isn't okay. What's this free limited UGC event? Oh, I gotta- I gotta get 58 of those. Also, I feel like this is a big missed opportunity to put a uh, Spongebob doing Sweet Victory song in the crowd. You know, when you think of the game football, y you might think maybe have your character play football for the event. Uh, but no, just go around and collect trash off the ground for the Super Bowl event. Just like how for like a Spongebob game, you might think, oh, do a Krusty Krab cooking game. Nope. Again, collect trash off the ground and then gamble with the trash to get more trash to gamble with more trash. Ooh, the last piece of trash I gotta pick up. God, I gotta do this too? I'm not doing that. <laughs> this is so generous of them. They're knocking 500 Robux off if I spend $30 on uh, 10 of these. <laughs> This is the one where you have one in 2,000 chance of getting the sea bear. Oh, cool. I have 10 of the same thing now. Give me a sea bear. No. Give me a sea bear. God. What the hell, man? Like, what? What do I do? I spent $30 and this is how fast I can defeat this thing. Putting random pop-ups on my screen. I just spent- I just gave you $30. As you can tell, there are good intentions behind this game. This isn't a soulless money trap, alright? What the- I can sacrifice my little critters to the devil. And maybe it'll be a better thing, or maybe it'll just be some deformed mess. Transform failed. So wait, so I just lost my stuff? How do I undo what just happened? Squidward's secret. Hello, fellow art and music lovers. This does not sound like Squidward's supposed to be grumpy. Did the person who make this game, have you seen the hit show SpongeBob before? Do you want to? No! Um, you know, when Game Fam gets, uh, public complaints about workplace conditions, when people are being, uh, enslaved and tortured in the Game Fam facility, the expectation is like, oh, that game's gonna be fire. Like, that's good. They're probably coming out with a really good game if people are unionizing for such poor workplace conditions. But, uh, then you get something like this, and it's like, oh, well, 
what was all the hardship for? You know what I mean? It's just this. So now I think the employee should be treated better. Uh, now I think that.